Hey, what is up you guys? This is Airsoft Rules here, bringing you a Team Fortress 2 gameplay commentary. Tonight we are going to be playing as the scout on the new map, uh, Kong King, I believe it's called. Uh, the new map that just came out with the new update, I guess, with all the new weapons. Uh, well actually no, it came out after, so, yeah. Uh, this gameplay is going to be showcasing the flying guillotine, which I just threw right there and epically failed and missed the heavy. So that was a fail on my part, but um, statistics wise for the flying guillotine, you throw it, it hits someone, it does 50 damage around there, 47, 50 damage, and then it does about 30 extra damage over time after in bleed. Also, if you stun someone with it, stun someone then hit them with it, so good one-two combo with a Sandman, you deal a additional 150 damage, which is a critical hit for that, which is Pretty sweet. Three times the damage critical hit. Yeah. Um, not much else more to say about the weapon. It's, uh, as you can see in this gameplay, I'm not actually using the Sandman because mostly I suck with the Sandman and I can sometimes hit a person, sometimes not really. Yeah. So that's why I'm not using it. If uh, any of you guys are wondering about that. Uh, yeah. I guess a little bit more about the map. It's uh, some sort of uh, Chinese themed. I'm not actually sure if it's Chinese. It could be Japanese. Japanese or Chinese themed uh, kind of city. It kind of when I first played this, I, it reminded me of playing Deus Ex: Human Revolution, honestly, um, from Shanghai. So it's kind of a neat thing. Um, yeah, that's what it really reminded me of. And it, it is a, a King of the Hill map. Uh, uh, yeah, it's it's fairly small. I I found it very confusing actually at the very beginning because this is my this was my first game, first match, playing it with the new weapon, <laughs> and first time I've used the weapon. It was it was a good. I was very surprised how well I did with the combination, knowing that I had not used it at all insta death. But as you can see at the top right corner, I actually end up hitting someone with the flying guillotine who gets chopped down by a pyro apparently. I'm thinking. I, I couldn't really tell if I actually threw it or not before I died. I thought I did though. Yeah. Um, there was a few confusing parts actually about the map, like I was saying before. Like, um, one thing is you can't. Uh, the well, you can go underneath the control point um, in the middle, but you can't go to the other team's base from your side, which I thought you could. So I got very confused in that. So. Yeah, that was that, <laughs> that was exciting. I, I guess I should also explain for the uh, lack of my ad saves the past week. I, I I made a video about me. Uh, uh, oh, I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna post videos week uh, daily now. So yeah, and then it was just like, oh yeah, you're going on vacation now. Oh, uh, uh, oh, so yeah, that was not well planned. It, it's kind of ironic. I make a video about me making more videos, and then I make less videos. Yeah. Um, I guess about the flying guillotine a little bit more is... It's pretty awesome. It is way better than pistol. Stock pistol. Cause stock pistol is terrible to aim. At least this one you can actually have a chance of hitting someone, and you have like a guaranteed amount of damage that you're going to be doing. So, hi, sniper. <laughs> that, yeah, it's a lot better that way. That's probably... Whoa, frame rate. <laughs> that's probably because I'm recording to a hard drive that's being used right now. But that's happening. Oh, that's probably why. Oh, deked out, devil man. Deked out. Boom, boom. Oh, one, two, three. Dead. I should have teabagged him after. <laughs> no, that's kind of me. Um, where was I? I think I was talking about how ironic it was. Oh, Captain Boyd, Captain Boyd. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, die heavy. Oh, and I killed him. He wasn't even shooting at me. That was the surprising thing. Now, watch this, watch this. this yeah. Okay. <laughs> that was a sniper I killed about twice or three times in a row. Yeah, I don't think he was very appreciative of uh, me doing so. That's probably why that happened. Or it was uh, Karma. Is that what it's called? Although karma doesn't really exist, but some people like to think it does. But right. anyways, I, yeah, I, it's it's fun running around with a guillotine, or well, actually it's not guillotine. It's a it's a uh, 
cleaver used for chopping sushi. And that was an awesome shot on my part. How I got... How I hit that guy behind the wall with the cleaver was undeniably awesome. And yeah, this is the part where I get lost. I was just like, oh, the health pack's down there. Oh, no, it's not. And frame right drop again. I should do something about that. Hmm. Ah, well. Whatever. Whatever. And I ignore the devil man, go after the medic, and I face plant into the pole. You guys want to hear a joke? <laughs> A man, a scout walked into a bar, and he said, "Ouch!" But ouch! This is like a long commentary of me talking about absolutely nothing. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I, 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 I kind of like the way the the cleaver spun up too, which is pretty awesome. If you look at it. It actually spins up. Oh, I should probably mention that this is a secondary weapon. Like I was saying before, it replaces your pistol. Yeah. It's not actually your melee weapon, is what what some people might think. Otherwise, you wouldn't be able to do this one two with the Sandman. I should probably make a video of me doing that. It's just, I like to have more health. 110 seems a bit low. Well, stray rocket can basically kill you if it's close enough. Yeah. I think this commentary's gone on long enough. Um, there's no spoilers at all, we do lose. Um, I, I probably will cut it short actually, just so you guys don't have to suffer as long. I don't actually feel as heavy. It would have been awesome if I did, but apparently he doesn't die. And I get, yeah, same guy. Yeah, this was his revenge, I think. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the commentary. It was, uh, it has been a long time since I've made one, so I might not be in, into the groove, I guess you could say. Yeah. Um, actually one thing I would like to start at the end of every commentary is to put up a, uh, say, a skill testing question, which you guys have to answer in the comment section below. So, here's a skill testing question. Um, what? Oh, I just want to note that I finished top on my team. Above our spy. Okay, anyways. Here's a skill testing question. And I will be doing this after every single one, and I will not wonder... The first person that ah oh, never mind I'll just say the question. Okay, the question is, what? Uh, what does every uh, ninety percent of people have in their house? Okay, it's in their house. They can have more than one, by the way, too. Just so you guys know. And but on, only about seventy percent of them are actually working. I'll say okay. I'll repeat that again. What do people have? What do more than 90% of people have in their house, but only about 70% 70, 70 are work, only are actually working, they're actually functioning? Uh, yes, just post your uh, answers to the question in the comment section below. And I don't know, the first person that come with the right answer, sounds like a good idea, wins! Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll say you win a toaster oven. Yeah, I'll see you guys later. Uh, peace out.